What's that sound? Why is it that after a cow cows, when she runs, she makes a sloppy slurping sound from her behind? That's the big question. Don't mind my girl 100 just getting at it, having her calf. Understanding the development of calves is the beginning of how the distinct sloppy sound occurs. Around day five or six of embryo development, the fertilized embryo migrates to the uterus, and once it's there, it nourishes and protects and sustains the developing calf. The development and functionality of the placenta, which is a thin membrane surrounding the calf, is critical for the successful gestation of the fetus. Upon approximately 282 days of gestation, the calving process begins. The change in hormones, such as estrogen, stimulates smooth muscle tissue, as well as oxytocin released from cervical stimulation, promoting the abdominal muscle movement, allowing uterine contractions to occur, forcing the calf outward. As you can see, this cow is having very frequent and fast contractions. But in reality, this process takes a whole lot longer than what you're seeing here. Thank goodness for fast forwarding. Now, the uterus must excrete the fetal membranes, placenta and sac, as well as the amniotic fluid that surrounded the calf within. This is a complex recovery period for the uterus to revert into the original shape and size postpartum. It involves several systems, sending signals between the glands in the uterine walls, the ovaries, several areas in the brain, and the adrenal glands. The rate at which these signals occur can reflect the time it takes for the uterus to retain original shape. If the cow does not expel the fetal membranes within a 24-hour period after partuition, it is defined as a retained placenta. Those with retained fetal membranes have an increased risk of infections due to the degenerating membranes hanging from the vulva. This can be a potential starting point for a sloppy sound due to the increase of discharge from the infections. The infections caused by retained placentas can increase the rate of abortions in subsequent pregnancies. The second suggestion is that an air pocket created in the uterus by the stretching of tissue from where the calf was also contributes to the sloppy sound as gas and fluid exchange is occurring. Another possibility for a sloppy rear is if tearing of the tissue between the rectum and vagina occurred during calving. This becomes a more serious problem but is less likely to happen. But if tearing does occur, this must be resolved with surgery to reconnect the tissue to prevent further implications and reduce the risk of infection. Beyond answering my question, the information found strictly fluctuates on a cow-to-cow -cow basis. It varies from the time taken for the tissue to resize, excrete the extra fluid, gases, and membranes, to more serious scenarios of tearing and infections leading to infertility problems. Understanding the length of involution, the time it takes the uterus to recover, which is approximately 30 days, will give insight into whether the subsequent pregnancies will be successful or not. The more time taken to recover, the increased chance of uterine disease to occur, also known as endometrius. The producer can use this as an indicator if the cow is more than three weeks postpartum and is still sloppy, she could potentially have internal infection. Overall, the understanding and ability to recognize that a sloppy vagina could potentially lead to further complications can be used as an educational and preventative measure for producers. This will ultimately increase the animal's well-being and ability to rebreed, preventing an economical loss for the producer.